private courts. And of course, that's St. Michael's Hospital in that. Now, when they started building in 1912, and they opened it, they opened it the week before the First World War. And they had, they had um, 10 rooms downstairs and 10 rooms upstairs. They say a bit private, but if you didn't have much money, they'd look after you downstairs. And if you had better money, you could watch theirs and pay. You know, I just put this in as well, 1927, given this here to enlarge. So it carried on and on until it uh, got up to 73 beds, but eventually in 1976, the nuns couldn't really afford to keep it running, and then it was taken over by the NHS. Well, that's the car park here. We'd get a ticket now if you stayed there long. Now, put this one in before 1930. Anybody guess why? Just look at that. What's missing? Well, not that. Well, what's missing is St. Michael's. We'll see in a few minutes. I've got them mixed up. But of course, they had garden fates there, as you know, to raise money for St. Michael's every year. Henry Jenner. I'm a Cornish bard. He was our first grand bard of Dorset. Henry Jenner married Kitty. Kitty Rowlands. Henry Jenner was born in 1848, he died in 1934. He was the hell of first president. As we said, the seventh hour center. Now then, um, his wife Kitty, she was born in 1853, and she died in 1936. This was what we call the nurses' home. Now it's called the Mary Therese home, but this was where the Rollins had lived. This is where the Jenners lived, I'm sorry. Now on there, and I'm not going to think, but I, didn't, I wouldn't dare go and say anything, that says 1854. I've read three books to check up on it, and I wasn't alive then, so I don't know. I'd say 1853. It's gone in here, so I don't think it really. Here we are, look at this. They were absolutely good. People were worried in the First World War. You imagine, you know, coming to the theatre, and there's this lady with a big black hand and all the rest of it, really quietly spoken. <coughs> They look, really, really looked after us. This is a, in their, it was a basic operating theatre, I know. This is a woman's ward. Yeah. This one, I date at 1927. Now put this one in. This, we've got children there, though. We've got you know, gents there. Of course, nuns over there. But this was a mixed ward then. <coughs> I don't know what that is down there. That's me again, you see. <laughs> Children's Ward was opened in 1952. Here we are. Now that was put up in 1933 in memory of Miss Frances Ellis. That's when that was put up. Now, if you're going up towards or going down the road from the hospital, that is still there. Henry Arby wanted his people at go to school then, not let them do them. He wanted them, if he wanted to educate himself, and make them better and go for the future, and he wanted people that could read and do things, etc, etc. So he built the school. And this is one of the pictures, there's a youngster over there. So they could work so many hours per day, but then they could go up to that school, which Henry already had built. You will see, if I'm right, if I'm right, you will see that. Now this is Drover's Row, again, by the mill pond, right opposite, you went up to the thing, the slope there. This is where all the horsemen lived, that worked for harvest, or most of them. The man that was in the foreman in charge, he lived in the bottom, he had a big two-bedroom house, and all the, all the two men's and all. He went up, he had a single room, and one thing and another. But Kitty, Kitty Rollins, Henry Jenner's wife, she was born in Ivy Cottage, right up the top of that, Ivy Cottage, it's 1853. This is the last one, really. I put this on. This is North Quay. This is the future. I want to tell you what I've been able to do recently. You see the building there. If anybody been over North Quay and have a little talk? Well, I've been for 18 months. <clears throat> I don't know if you did see it or not, but that. That now is called the Rick Bascola Walk. Over there, 
six, eight weeks ago, I invited Trevor and Kim from America over and unveiled a flag, a big flag, which I don't know, with all the history and a written school book on that building so you can go and see it there. Um, you know, so that's the wall all, all the way through. But people, you take me, what could, not there, over there, that's built as well, but I don't know long before they were arrested, but it's going to be there tomorrow. Coming up tomorrow, it's Rick's, would have been Rick's birthday tomorrow. And we know he's a man in 9-11, born in Ale. I do his history as well. So I'm actually going to America in October and I'm meeting the rest of the family. I don't, I said, I don't go to camera in the morning. I'm going to America with my niece and they're going to do an itinerary for five days. So I'm going to Graham Zero, all the, all the places of interest, meet Susan, meet um, Rick's. Me, Kim, Kim's uh, mother and everything like this. So, I that, <coughs> so I'm open to build another talk up from there and bring some stuff on from America. But anyhow, that's it. <laughs>